back in 2021, I reviewed LNER's first class, but that was back in COVID, as you can tell. So I'm going to go back and see if it is actually any good. Here I am outside of King's Cross train station. My train is in about half an hour. I've been doing some filming. It's a gorgeous shot. Oh, 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 yeah. Today, I've managed to get an upgrade on my train to first class. I managed to get this upgrade from Seat Frog. I will let you know at the end of the video how much it costs. But first, I'm gonna go check out the LNER first class lounge. So I found like a little cubby hole thing. It's very, very busy in here. There isn't much offering them hot drinks, some biscuits, some crisps. That's about it. I've got about 40 minutes till my train, so I'm just gonna get my laptop out, do some work. I believe they have Wi-Fi, they have plug sockets and USB slots. Basically everything you need if you're a little bit early. Do the plug sockets work? Yes, they do finished the hot chocolate it was actually really really good to be fair no complaints i do love a good hot chocolate so we have just left the lounge now we are heading to platform three i'm in coach l today i'm not too sure what to expect because last time i did this about a year ago they were still on the covid menu so Chances are, it'll be a little bit different. I'm actually not too sure which end of the train I should be on. Um, I didn't get to look at the display, so I could be heading to the complete wrong end of the train. Oh no, that's not good. C, G, oh dear. <laughs> So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what we've got here. This menu was already on the table when I sat down. This table goes up and down, which is pretty clever if you ask me. You look down here, we have a normal USB socket and a plug, which is pretty good. Also got a cheeky armrest. Good view out the window if it wasn't dark. And if we use our button here. Oh, oh, I don't I don't think it's working. If we try that again, there we go, the seat does move, so you get a reclined position. Again, so I'm moving my bag out of the way, leg room, plenty of leg room, this pole's a bit annoying but, you know, nothing, nothing massive, and I better get my tickets ready. So my tickets won't actually load because I can't get any service, but I assume that's a good time to try the Wi-Fi, see if it'll work. Oh, it's telling me no internet connection. That's, that's not good. Never mind, now it's asking me to log back in. I'm just trying to log into the Wi-Fi. And I've got this from the thing as well. Yeah, here we go. Perfect, thank you. Lovely, thank you. Okay, so I did actually manage to connect to the Wi-Fi and get my tickets to load. As I was about to say, I can't imagine the Wi-Fi being very good. Um, it won't even load the speed test, so it's basically pointless using it. Right, there we go, let's try this. I can't imagine it's very fast. That's, that's not too bad for a train, to be fair. It's just whether it actually works, because, you know, mine, mine didn't seem to want to work. I'm just gonna have a look at the options for the lunch slash evening meal. They have salmon with potatoes, which is, for a train, pretty, pretty good. We have a tuna crunch sub rolls, shepherdless chicken, that, double egg and tomatoes, a deli box, and toasted tea cakes, and they've got dessert. Cheese plate, I don't like cheese, so no way. That lemon and rhubarb meringue pie. I might, I might, I might just have to, I might, maybe. Maybe. Can I get you any Yeah. Yeah, you want a glass of ice? Yeah, please. Hello, anything to read with the menu? Have you got the salmon? Yeah. I've been given two little cans of lemonade, a can of Coke, Give me a glass with ice, I feel proper fancy. So for drinks you can get coffee, tea, speciality tea, which is like a load of different teas. Nah, normal tea's better. Hot chocolate, 
for the win. Orange, apple juice, coke, lemonade, ginger ale, tonic water. You can also get alcohol free of charge. So you've got like the LNER's brand, I guess. You've got whiskey, gin, vodka, wines. And it's served seven days a week from 11.30. So, you know, it's five o'clock in the world somewhere. Yes. Look at that. since the last time I was on LNER um, and yeah you, you, it was just like a bacon cob or like a, a baguette in a packet not like made on the train I believe we've just been through pizza I really do need to go back but I don't want to going through pizza is enough for me to be honest I'll be that on the there's a spoon there as well yeah, thank you, thank you. Cheers. 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 Raspberry and white chocolate. And now we've just got chocolate chip to try. It should be pretty good to be fair. In order, I'd rank these ones first, these ones second, these ones are definitely third. Unfortunately, we're going to miss dessert because. Um, Train for long enough. That's what it is, it's quite busy, so they had a lot of uh, food orders. Got my food, and that's what I'm, you know, the most important thing. We have exactly 10 minutes, so better get my hot chocolate finished. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. Bye bye. This time on LNER was 100% better. There was food served on a plate, plenty of hot and cold drinks dessert there was dessert offered which is amazing i'm still upset i didn't get to try the dessert but there definitely will be a next time because it is worth the money it was an incredibly busy train but i have been on this first class when it isn't busy and it is amazing i've done first class on a similar length journey on a different train operating company and lnr smashed it out of the park completely as i said i used the seat frog app and this gave me an incredible price for an upgrade of only 20 quid. You can even get them sometimes as low as six pounds, which is just crazy to think. In total, I paid 35 pounds for my standard class ticket and then the upgrade, 35 pounds for first class on a route where first class can range from 50 to 100 pounds is a really good deal. Would I travel on LNER again? Definitely 100%. There were a few bad things about the limited offering, in the lounge how busy the lounge was but it is london at the end of the day so you can't really complain if you want me to try the first class on any other train operating companies let me know because i'm more than willing to do it but i still believe that lner is the best i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please make sure to like subscribe all of that good stuff and i will catch you in the next one